Ladies and gentlemen, you may wonder today why I'm dressed up like a drill sergeant from 1991. That's because I'm talking about a platoon in 1991. A platoon of which my father was a member. You see that handsome guy right there off to the right of that top drill sergeant right there? You see him? You see him? What's that? Okay, you see him blind. I'm pointing at him. That's him. That is my father back in 1991. <laughs> he was in Fort Benning, Georgia. He was going to be a U.S. infantry soldier, but then the war ended. So he got transferred as a clerk after the commander's wife made a pass at him. But that's a different story. I'm going to tell you about when he was in the army. Now, the thing you have to understand about the army during basic training, those drill sergeants are rough on their recruits. That guy right there, drill sergeant on the right, that guy took steroids. He was on Roy's shooting up. He was yelling at those guys all the time. He was just like, ah, get ready, ah. Truth. The guy on the left, he's just sort of sitting there looking like, he's an idiot. My dad told me the fact that that man was an idiot. The good drill sergeant is that guy in the middle. That was a great drill sergeant. That was a drill sergeant who was best friends with my dad. Even after my dad broke his door. That's the story I'm going to tell you today. And they were eating in the cafeteria. And I have to understand that the cafeteria here, the food was contaminated with raw sewage. They had some plumbing problems. And so whenever you eat there, you get sick and have to go to the bathroom immediately. So they ate there, run back to the barracks, have to go to the bathroom. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a problem here. That bathroom door is locked. Ain't no one getting in there. And you have these recruits out here, these soldiers, they're going crazy. They're about to. You know what they're about to do. And my dad's just like, all right, no. I'm going to step in. I'm going to save my platoon. He sees that door. He just grabs it. He goes, ah! Bashes that door right clean off its hinges. The entire platoon runs in the barracks, uses the bathroom, and he is beloved by the entire platoon. Until the drill sergeant comes back. That guy had to pay for the door out of his own money. He lines up the troops, get, forms a big line right in the courtyard. He's like, all right, who broke my door? I will not let you graduate until I find out who broke my door. Was it you? What your excuse? What are you doing now? What's with that mark on your face? Get down, give a 50. And he just go crazy every day. He never found out who broke that door. Until, of course, after they graduated, Dad came up to that drill sergeant and he's like, Hey, drill sergeant, you ever find out who broke your door? He's like, No man! Did you break my door? He's like, Yep. He's like, God damn you, no man! I can't just fall to pieces. And so, my dad graduated from his platoon, stayed there for a while, became a clerk. Hated it there, got out in 2001, July, and that's the end of the story. It's not very coherent, but oh well. <laughs>